Well, hello, Trapper Time friends. How y'all doing? I'm just waiting on some chicken broth to heat, and then I'm going to throw these leftover biscuit dough that I just rolled out here and just patted out. I really didn't roll it. That's how wonderful chicken. Uh, well, chicken. I'm looking at chicken. It's how wonderful leftover dough can be. It's simple. It's easy. It's quick. My aunt changed her menu this morning. Said she was going to do chicken and dumplings, but she ended up doing lasagna. And I said, well, we'll take the chicken and dumplings for you and see if it needs to be fixed. And uh, just as a joke, look at that. That is not anything but broccoli. Healthy broccoli. Mama probably would not want nothing to do with it, but she may have to have a little bite of it. We'll see. I'm going to put it over here and we'll see what we do with it. See what we do with that broccoli. It just started boiling. I just put it in there raw and it just came to a boil. And it boiled for about 30 seconds and I um, took it off. Just let then when y'all got here. I don't like my broccoli to just cook and cook and cook. I just want to blanch it good. Even if I'm going to serve it raw, I blanch it because it makes it absolutely beautiful. Well, it is a pretty green. Yeah, it is. And this is just chicken broth that I cooked all that chicken the other day with. I had it in the refrigerator and I just poured it in here. Now over here is that leftover biscuit um, dough. That didn't add nothing to it, folks. This is how much I have left over, and this is the dumplings. All I done, I had it in the uh, refrigerator in a Ziploc bag. I took it out, worked it up in my hands a little, got it warm, and then um, I put a drop or two of buttermilk in it to make it looser. And then I put a little bit of flour on this mat, and there's your dumplings. Good and easy, quick to do. This is a super Sunday lunch because it's super easy. Now the broccoli, like I said, it probably won't all get eaten, but I've got some more cooked chicken and I'm probably gonna do a, a chicken casserole tomorrow night or the next night, y'all know how I am. So in here is just a little bit of chicken base, uh, not enough to add any salt, nothing else. I am gonna add some black pepper. The chicken base will have a little bit of salt in it poultry season. It was just the nors. No, ma'am. I'll show you what I put in it. You need more chicken in there. No, I'm good. It's just this right here. Just put a little bit dry in there. And uh, this is going to be enough. It was a good dark broth because it had some fat in it. And I put some chunks of chicken in it. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, now this is coming to a boil. See? You see the movement in there? So we're good. So I'm going to add my dumplings. And I'm just going to break them off in there. You can do it however you want. I like to do it this way because it gives me a chance to get them in there. And they're not in a big pile or anything. Just a strip of dough and drop it. Just tear it as you go. Tear it and drop. That way it gets coated in the broth before it gets clumped together. So you get a better uh, result in your dumplings. Now that that's boiling, I'm gonna turn it down a notch. You know, this stove is either burn or none. Hot or not, there's no medium. We, we, we don't have that mid temperature on this stove. It just ain't there. It, it's there, but boy, you have to have some kind of patience. The only time I ever use that middle area is if I'm letting something simmer because it sure don't cook. It just keeps it warm. And this is it, folks. That's how hard chicken and dumplings are. Um, 
in all honesty, you know, you'd have to cook some chicken or make some good broth. I had that. So that's the reason it makes it easy today. Plus, I already had this dough. Because I'd made biscuits and made too much yesterday. And I had this. Remember I told you to put it in the refrigerator and make pies or dumplings? We had cooked that chicken. We had the broth. We had dough. We was wanting something quick because we, Mama didn't eat breakfast. And uh, here's what we got. It was quick and easy today. Chicken and dumplings, quick and easy, sure, sure. If I'd had to make them from scratch, they're not impossible hard. You just make your dough up, like biscuits, make it a little stiffer, and you're good. Now, I don't like to stir dumplings, I just like to dunk them. So that's what I call stirring my dumplings. Now, I've got this extra flour over here, and I can put a little bit of that in here just to thicken this a little bit. And that's what that'll do, it'll make a thick gravy. Let not all of it come out. This is a Tupperware mat. This is the old one, but we do have a new one out there now. Everybody ask about it. And they brought it back. So the new ones are a different color, but they're still just as good. This may be the new one. I think it's red. The new one's red, Mama said. This one's blue. I like to rinse it off as I go because, well, I do everything that way. It ain't nothing new. But I do want to get all this flour cleaned up. Because if I don't, I'll set something in it, then I'll have more flour and I'll have more mess. I asked Mama about sides. She said she didn't need no sides. Chicken and dumplings was going to be what she was having. You want to let it cook, learn to cook the flour. It's raw, you know. I can't make dumplings, John. Yeah, you can. What makes you think you can't? Did somebody tell you that? They was wrong. They was wrong. Dumplings are not hard to make. It's what they made when they had nothing else to eat. They could kill a chicken. They could use the broth. Put this bread in it. Boil it. I made a savory dish, and it's so good. And they just hung on to it. Why not have that when you don't have to have it? Because it's so good. I'm sure that's how it was born, out of necessity. Necessity to feed the family. Because it's not a meat, it's not a protein, but it was probably accessible to them. See how all those dumplings are, are staying apart? and they're not uh, mushing up, that's because the flour was good. That leftover flour actually makes better dumplings. A lot of people make their dumplings ahead of time, freezes them, uh -huh. and has them. I would, probably, um, if I was the type of person to think ahead like I should be. I've never been, I've never been the person who really planned ahead. I'm usually a do it by the seat of your britches sort of person. Somebody said that on the comments yesterday. Measuring works, John, why don't you try it? Measuring works, John. Why don't you try it? Because I don't want to. I never have been a, been a measurer on everything. I think cooking with your heart often works out best. If you want to measure and get in the kitchen with a bunch of stuff, that's good. I measure more on here for you all, just so you'll have an idea of how much, than I ever have in my life. Um, when I was making the gravy, I think it was, I said, measure, John. 
you just do everything. I forget what they said. Yeah, I do that. But I can put some good grub on the table, can't I, Mama? Yeah. It's good. You're being good to me cooking. Look at that juice. Look at that beautiful dumpling juice. And we'll let these boil just another minute, maybe. And uh, we'll come back and get them. I'll take you all over here and let you see Mama this morning. Oh, wow. They might not want to see me. Why not, Mom? Your hair's brushed and everything. Well, it's because I went to church. You ain't plugged up. The microphone? Mm -hmm. I did that yesterday, too. Better plug it up for you. They can hear me. It's you they can hear. Yeah. All right. Everything. I'm soft-spoken, ain't I? <laughs> You're a softy. Do you want anything on your broccoli that'll make you eat it? No, less some kind of... Uh seasoning. Yeah, vegetable seasoning up there. Uh, there's all kinds of seasoning, Mom. I fixed you right up. Here is lemon pepper. Mm -mm. Here is garlic herb. Garlic herb sounds good. That little crash was just for your excitement. <laughs> oh, wow. We have y'all's lime pepper. We like that and everything. I believe I'd just rather have a little bit of garlic and herb. Give it a splash so it won't be. You didn't put salt in it, did you? Nope. Yeah. Garlic and herb sounds good. Well, set that over there by my plate and I'll open it for you. And there's that, and there's that, and there's that. Let's move. This cilantro back in there. I don't need cilantro. Don't wreck it. You got what you're drinking? Yeah. Well, I've got what I'm drinking. I'm drinking coffee with a little bit of half and half. What you would you think about that, Mama? You usually don't do that until night time. I know. I have my morning coffee, of course, plain. But this, I thought, hmm, I think I need a little flavor flake today. Which I didn't put no flavor, I just put the half and half. That smells pretty good. Yeah. Oh gosh. That got me out too much. Too much? Too much green? Yeah. I don't believe so, Mama. You want this? Why, sure, if you're dipping greens, I'll take them. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Now, let me get some dumplings over here in the neighborhood. Mama's got the counter decorated for five, but it's hard to maneuver. Can you see that runner and all that business? Makes harder for TV because I can't um, scoop my camera around and all that goody. Now this is the dumplings and chicken. Now don't y'all come at me and say he dipped every bit of that chicken out for him and didn't hardly give Mama any. Cause I don't want any. She'd rather not have any probably. But I thought this might be a way to trick her into getting at least a few strands of protein. Me and my oldest sister used to go to a restaurant and when she wanted. lived in, in Georgia and we'd order dumplings, chicken and dumplings, and we'd say, hold the chicken. <laughs> yeah, no protein for us. But there is a few strands in there, Mama. Oh, yeah, I see chicken in it. And you can, eat, you can eat a few strands of it, can't you? Oh, yeah. All right, so that is lunch, folks. A little healthy green and a dumpling and some protein. I didn't add any. No, the salt shaker was never touched. Only a little bit of the base, which is got a little sodium, but not a horrible amount. Dearly Father, we thank you for this meal. We thank you most of all that you've 
allowed us to sit here and partake it together, dear Lord. And we just thank you for providing it for us. Thank you for wonderful service at church this morning. And Lord, be with each and every prayer request that's out there. Watch over them, lead and guide and direct. Be with our world. Be with this country. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, Mama. It's time. This kind of makes me nervous. When I fix something that I can fix but don't normally fix, like chicken and dumplings, and it's usually Mama's dish, she always fixes the chicken and dumplings. And so now I feel like I'm got a lot of pressure on me. The broccoli is really good with the garlic herb on it. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit of y'all's lemon on mine. It does have a little bit of salt, but I do like... I do love it. I love it so good I've hid it from myself. You've hid it? <laughs> Well, I do declare it's not here. Is it sitting on the bar somewhere? No, I've not used it in a spell. Maybe it's one of the ones I need to replace and I haven't gotten. Nope. It's probably been shuffled over in that direction. Bama Burger, fancy. Everything bagel. It's all here. The whole family's here. Except what you want. Except what I want. Okay, I'll try yours. <laughs> I do love that line. That uh, This is lemon. No, that's... Did you put this? Uh-uh. This is lemon from the dash. And that is garlic herb from the dash. Let's try the garlic herb and the lemon. Hmm. It's pretty good on it. Mom and I are learning to eat without salt, and we're not hating on it. What's the dumplings? They're good. Are they at least half as good as yours? Well, mine's more fluffier than yours. Here it goes. But I ain't never tried that leftover dough, though. They have a real good taste. Uh-huh. They're hot. These are more like slickums. You'll notice they're not big fluffy. They're I love the slickums, Mama. Don't, but they're good. Yeah, they're good. Mama makes them what I call sometimes drop dumplings, where she just mixes them up in a bowl and then drops them in. Um, hardly ever does she roll them out, actually. And I make them for a crowd, I do. Mm. Because the others kind of will fade away. Mm hmm. Hmm. Tasting broccoli for the very first time in our lives. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, you get too much salt and stuff and you get the flavors. It's still al dente or toothy, whatever you want to call it. I don't know how come y'all are over here so close. Um, but I don't want it mushy. I want it bright green. So what I do is I put it in there and as it heats up, mm. then when it starts hard boiling, I let it boil for about 45 seconds. And then I take it off and just set it, and it stays in the hot water and it still cooks. But it don't blanch out to wash away. Mm -hmm. I do drop dumplings, Connie says. I love puffy dumplings. Deb, there's two um, two uh, teams on that. Team Team Slickum and Team Fluffy. Most people file on one or the other. Mm -hmm. Me, I can eat them either way. Um, I can even eat them old frozen dumplings. I don't care. I even tried them tortilla dumplings that time. My mama wouldn't even let me tell people she, I made them in her kitchen. They weren't dumplings. They were cooked tortillas. They were tortilla soup, wasn't they? Mm. Mm. I 
tuck cheek and brow for the movie on the chin. Mm, these dumplings are good. And I agree, though. They're not yours. No, they're not mine. We'll put you back to work. I'm actually eating this broccoli. It's probably good. I knew if I slipped a little in, she might eat it. Just like the chicken and the dumplings. Mm-hmm. There's chicken in here. A little protein is not going to hurt her. My <laughs> mom would roll them out. Rebecca, I roll them out, press them out, do something with them. Um, sometimes your dough's so good and firm like today, I just had to press it out. Uh, sometimes you do need to roll it. I bet that broccoli would be good in them dumplings. When I got the broccoli out, she said, don't put those in my dumplings. <laughs> I said, I want my mama to have a side dish. We would normally have mashed potatoes and cornbread dressing with dumplings. Mm. And that would be overload. Cornbread dressing would be wonderful. Would be good. It is good. But it's a lot of starch, a lot of carbs. Broccoli's just as good, Mama. No comment? No. That ain't as good as dressing. No, it ain't as good as dressing, but it is very good. I'm right. The broccoli does taste good in the dumplings. Mm. Hello, some from South Carolina. Hi, hey, Martha. Gail Davis says, yeah, just whatever they got. I don't know, probably someone saying, what are they eating? <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Thanks for the stars, Yvonne. Carolyn says, oh my G OMG carbs. Yeah, there's carbs in this. In the dumplings, but we're not having cornbread, we're not having dressing, and we're not having mashed potatoes. And this dough, honest to goodness, it would just made about a biscuit. It was just a little wide, but like that. And I just, when I put it on there and put that flour and smashed it out, it made all these dumplings. So it's really not even that much carbs. Mm-mm. And you got to think, we're not eating a whole pot. I hope not. No. No. Hello from Missouri. Hello, Melanie. How are you? Hello from West Virginia. Hey, May. It's good to see you all today. If you're not having good weather, I hate to brag, but we're 62 degrees, blue sky, sunshine, beautiful day. Everything, even the squirrel. I tell Mama, we don't have to drive very far to church, but we've seen all kinds of squirrels and kittens and rabbits and puppies and dogs. There were just animals everywhere. I said, all the animals were coming out to enjoy this day. It was beautiful. Of course, the puppies were ours. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I'm a little squirrel. Excuse me, them little squirrels was just darting across. There was the a lot of them too. Mm -hmm. We saw a, a mama kit cat with four or five cat kittens. Beautiful kittens. A lot. I didn't count them. They were them beautiful. All. Beautiful kittens. Remind me of when we used to have, and of course, it was a cali coat, and of course, we named it Cali. There's an active star party. Oh. Thank you all for the star party. I may even get more time. I'm in Scotland and it's really cold and wet and windy. Helen, I'm sorry. Uh, but now, Helen, I have to tell you, I love a good rainy day. We had rain yesterday and I enjoyed it. <clears throat> I told Mama, I said, I love a good rainy day. It rained. Uh. We had no sunshine. It was gray, clouds. 
You reckon our weather's made it to Scotland from yesterday? Because mm -hmm. that's what we had yesterday, too. When Scotland went, is so beautiful. When Pictures. I went to Ireland, it was raining and wind and cool. Mm-hmm. Broccoli. Anytime I see fresh broccoli in the stores anymore, I pick it up. And you know, broccoli will, will force you into being creative and finding something to cook with it. Because when it starts flowering out and getting it, I don't like it. So I'm like, I've got that broccoli. I need to fix it. We've eaten a lot of broccoli in Spanish lately. But I did like this broccoli before. She's wanting more. That's what she's saying. No, it ain't. <laughs> you did good, Mama. You ate a lot of green stuff. Mm -hmm. And you've even got a few more dumplings. You must have really been wanting them. I had a good. Well, I didn't eat breakfast, so. No, you didn't eat breakfast. So she had I a handful. Figured... Well, she had a little baggie with the. Um, she's like a little kid going to church. She took her Cheerios in a little baggie. <laughs> I didn't eat, but just a few of them. It's okay. You can take them, your little baggie of cereal with you. I used to take stuff for you all the time. I still would if people wouldn't lie. We're sitting there eating a little snack. I wouldn't eat in the sanctuary, though. Mm -mm. I would in Sunday school, though. We eat in Sunday school. We have snack time for the kids. Well, for the adults, anybody. And we have coffee. Now, we sit and drink coffee during Sunday school. We're downstairs, though, in the kitchen. It's good to sit around and have a good cup of coffee mm -hmm. and commune. Mama, that was a good lunch, and it was quick and easy. Yeah, and I wanted these. They're good. Mm -hmm. And it was better than your other selection. What was that? What did you want this morning? Fried chicken. Oh, fried chicken, mashed potatoes, and all that works. I still say this is probably better for us. What would you say? Oh, yeah. Because I would eat a bait of fried up mashed potatoes. <laughs> I'll make you some mashed potatoes one day this week. Mm -hmm. Thank you all for the stars. Y'all are so sweet. I don't know what that says down there. Stars received. All right, folks. Anybody got any questions about these crazy dumplings? Hi, John and Mama. God bless you all. Hey, Robin. How are you? Hey, Carla. Folks, we ain't done nothing today. Now, we did everything yesterday. We went and visited. We uh, went and picked up. We had some errands to run. Um, we was on the road. We was out when We had company. Out when it's raining. Yeah. We had company. I love good company, don't you? Mm -hmm. It was just a good day yesterday. I was thinking last night when I went to bed. We've had a good day today. We sure did. Mama's <coughs> felt good and run around. She's about to tire me out. <coughs> My running around is getting in the van, sitting in it till we come home. He's the one that gets in and out. I do the errands, but now you get out when we go somewhere. Yeah. Get out to the van, sit in it. Now, I mean, like when we go somewhere, you'll get out. You don't have to go. It's not grocery store, or the post office, and all that hot mess. But like you know, if we go to somebody's house or something, you. Oh know. yeah, I can get out then. We just ain't running you through the grocery stores and all that. Can't do that yet. You could. I just, I just don't want you to. Because mm -hmm. you, you make ninety nine trips to this house. I got to plead up at Mrs. Dyson. I got a strong <laughs> uh, herb. herb in my mouth. If you haven't tried these, they're salt-free. If you can't have salt, that is handy. 
And it flavored the broccoli really good, I shocked. Mm -hmm. But when I sprinkled I, it on as soon as I took it out. I've been using Southern Secrets too yet because we love it so good. Y'all, Southern Secrets. But it's got a little salt. It's in. got salt in it, but that's what makes the flavor come through. But I'd use just a touch, touch. And sometimes I'll use the Southern Secret onion and garlic. And then I'll put, it's got 140 milligrams of sodium serving per container, 163 serving size, a fourth of a teaspoon. So, 140 is not that bad if you just put a teaspoon in and then um, add something without salt. You know, like maybe add this uh, onion and garlic for the flavor and then add this garlic herb for the no salt and put a little extra of this to blend in with this. And you can have a good flavor flavor anyway. Mom's not on no salt. She's on reduced salt. She gave us the number. What was it? 1500 a day. I think so. And so, that's quite a bit. Ooh, I hate that first dumplings and another spoonful of them. So you didn't like, you didn't mind they weren't fluffy? No. I like fluffy with better, but I can eat them just as good. <laughs> I guarantee you, if I'd have made them today fresh, they would have been fluffier. Yeah, that, I think that would make the difference. Yeah, because usually when I make them, I'm trying to make them like these, and they turn out real fluffy. Um, I like these that I had today better than the ones I normally fix because they were the slickums, we call them here, or the thin dumplings. But you the flavor. Slickums. That's what I've heard them called. A lot of older people. Um, well, my friends, her mother called them slickums. I can't get my vest just right without it. It's not going off. It's not going off, but it's just a little uncomfortable. <laughs> well, you're looking good, Mama. Move around and it gets twisted. You're looking good, Mama. Yeah. Oh, or my pumpkin. Well, it ain't pumpkin, but it's an orangey shirt today. I'm going to try to flip y'all. I want to show you, Miss Pam, Miss Joe, and Mr. Joe, and Miss Pam sent Mama a beautiful scarecrow. Look at that, and a pumpkin. This is what's in the middle of this cave counter, and this is the reason I can't put you on where you're supposed to be. You have uh, to have a little decorations out for the season. Look at that, Miss Miss Pam. Look how cute he looks sitting on the middle of the counter. But that runner. Oh, that runner. It runs all the way. It runs the whole distance, and that's where I'm used to sliding this camera around. So I have to set you all just in the right spot. Mama, we are choosing beauty over function. Yeah. It shows you have to see some stuff fixed out. Well, I'm just cheered to pieces. I can't get down there and get a lot of stuff out this year, but that sure turned out pretty, and I like it. Cheered me up a lot. It does, and this right here, this big pumpkin here makes me want pumpkin bread. <laughs> now, if y'all hadn't been here, she would have said, don't break my pumpkin. Out of first She day. says the silliest things to me sometimes. One of the main things she said, some of you all will probably relate to this. One of the things I've heard my whole life, from the, from as long as I can remember. Like if she's making tea, and she makes tea every day. <laughs> even to this very day. If I come in this kitchen, in the process of making the tea, anytime during the process, <laughs> she looks me dead in the eye. Like I'm three and says, don't get nothing in my tea. That's right. I don't want nothing in my tea. And I look at her at this point in my life and I go, <laughs> what am I going to put in your tea? Well, I don't want you getting here slanging. Like I just come here and slang stuff. If you wash your hands, you could slang soap suds in my tea. Or extra water that I won't want in my tea. Or if you got something, you could throw something, get something in. I mean, it's throwing stuff in here all the time. <laughs> Slanging, in fact. Don't get nothing in my tea. 
That's right. How many times have you said that to me? I could probably couldn't. Count Millions. <laughs> she said it just the other day. Is the reason I'm bringing it up, and I laughed. I just laughed, and she started laughing, and then she just shook her head and she said, "I've been saying that to you for a while." I said, "You sure have." <laughs> I said, what would you think I was going to put in there? Sometimes, because I'm just pure mean, I really am. You'll sprinkle. You'll shake your hands like you're going to. Or I'll holler at her. She'll be in the living room and the tea will be sitting here cooling. And I'll go, "Uh uh-oh. I sure hope I didn't get that in your tea. What'd you get? (laughs) (laughs) So I'm so protective of my tea. What's wrong with that? (laughs) <laughs> Ooh, I hope I didn't get nothing in your tea. It ain't boring around here all the time, is it? No, it's not. I had to fuss at Well, you. let me ask you this question in front of your family. Here. Oh, Lord. What you gonna do? Has there ever, in the history of all history of time, been a time I got something in your tea? No, but if I hadn't warned you, they might have been. <laughs> Let me ask you another question while I got you on the jury stand. Okay. Have I ever come loping through the house, running and kicking up my heels, and made one of your cakes fall? No, but you could have if I didn't warn you on that, too. <laughs> Don't move. Don't jar my cake. As soon as when we were kids, as soon as you come in, I got a cake now, don't you? Just come running through here and loping and, and knock my cake down. I thought it was like some kind of uh, experiment. I thought, oh, them cakes. Oh, it's a cake. Steady as she goes. <laughs> they will file, though, won't they? Yeah, you can jar them. But I've never done it, have I? No. Because I was Because told... I warn you all the time. I was Do you all tell your kids that? Uh, I uh-uh. warned you all the time. Are you a Gen X or have you been told that your whole life? Yeah. And it goes right along with, close the refrigerator door. What are you trying to do? Cool the whole house? My daddy used to say, what are you looking for? The same things in there as in there yesterday when you held the door up for 20 minutes. <laughs> that's close. Why, that's why you turned out so good. It's because we corrected you all the time. Close that door. You're trying to cool the whole community. That's the I was just really trying to walk out of it. I really. My dad, well, we didn't have air conditioner, but in the winter time. Keep the flies out. In the winter time, daddy say, you're letting all the heat out. Quit trying to heat the whole neighborhood. Let them I heat their I heard that one too. That's the way I was raised to preserve, preserve stuff. Mm-hmm. I taught you that. <laughs> Don't get nothing in my tea. I'm going to start telling her, don't get nothing in my coffee. I wouldn't put nothing in your coffee. So it's not that you you think you think I'm going to put something in your tea. No. Just get it in there by accident? Mm-hmm. Like sling it. Mm-hmm. When I come through slinging marbles or... <laughs> confetti. I would say dirt off your hands, but you never did have dirty hands. You washed your hands all the time. I was probably trying to wash my hands when you was telling me don't get nothing in your tea. That's what it was. Don't sling water. And the tea's over here on the counter. Not always. I'm just protective of my tea. You are. You are a a tea protector. I'll tell you that, Mama. I don't want nothing in it. Nothing. Ain't nothing getting in your tea. If y'all want to get a glass of tea, get with Mama. It's not got nothing in it. But it sure is not good. Not no foreign objects or nothing. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nothing. Ah, oh, we're just having fun, ain't we, Mama? Oh, yeah. Life's too short not to have some fun. It sure is. All right, folks. My coffee's getting cool. I'm going to go ahead and heat it up. I may pour this out and just go back to my regular. Because I've had my little flavor of this. It's okay. But I like my black coffee better. I think what I'm going to do, Mama, unless you've got better plans. Oh, I don't have no plans. I think I'm going to fill this cup up with coffee and go out on one of the porches. 
probably the front porch because the back porch has been come endured yeah. by puppies. They've got rule over it. There's nothing on the back porch except router and furniture. One swing. swing, which is wooden, but they ain't chewed on it or nothing. Uh, and it, every day I try to go out there and blow it off, sweep it off, or do something, keep the leaves. And they're not you dirty. You can't keep the leaves when there's a hickory tree right there and a, a maple tree. They right. don't have it dirty or nothing. Um, it's just that's where they lay all day. And, and if you go out there, you're going to have to hold one of them in your lap and one of them on your knee. And the other one, he. What's the difference in your lap and knee? Well, Oliver wants full on. Oliver wants, he wants to sit in your lap and him be up here. Like, he's huge. Abby just wants you, she just wants to lay her foot up on your knee and put her chin and she wants you to pet her nonstop, constantly without stopping. If you stop, she'll take her nuzzle and she'll nuzzle your hand. Now, so far, Albert don't care. Albert lays over on the corner and looks at the other two and like, what are they doing? Well, Oliver sat on my foot yesterday, yesterday. Or day before yesterday. yesterday. And I want you to know, I he, do believe he's gained a he's, little bit more weight. He's 50 pounds. Oh, yeah. Now, when he was a pup, He'd sit on my feet. He'd and he would, he, I would hold him up like this and he'd put his head on my shoulder and I'd pet him and hold him like this. And Abby would have her foot on my knee and I'd sit there in the swing and I'd pet her and I'd pat him. And we had a good time. All the rest, I'm going to have to get him a mirror. <laughs> he, he helps has me no, think he realizes he's He has feet. no idea. <laughs> he thinks he's still a pup. He's, he has no space... What's it called? Um, I don't know. He don't know space. Like He don't realize what he can get through. He don't realize that he can't sit on the step now and hang his head over in the bowl and eat. There ain't enough step. So he'll try it and he's like, I don't know, buddy, you can't he do it He still no more. tries to get through the railing in his head. I he know. Goes. He has uh, space concept. He has no space concept. Uh, he's the, you know, he's the type of, he's in that stage where he would try to get into a small dog bed in him this big. He, he's not, he's not good at that part. Uh, he's gained weight because when he sat on my foot yesterday, I sure could tell the difference. He's a big old boy. Mm -hmm. I don't a, know why he started when he was a baby backing up and sitting on my feet. He did it and he still wants to He do loves it. you. I think he just wants my feet to be still. <laughs> he wants you to wants to hold you there so he can hug on you. Albert is not as loving either. Albert just wants to, you know, he's more of a he's he's more of what he can get. He, he like you got any food for me? He'll come running up and he's like, you know, and then he runs off. He's like, I you ain't got no food. And I'm out of here. He's taken up pretty good. Yeah, but. Uh, we're still on trial, but, and if them kids get to hollering, hey, well, he may have to go home for a minute and then come back up here. We're kind of just uh, grandparents sitting for her. <laughs> you know how it is. Them babies, the real babies, love them other fur babies, and then if, if they can't keep them, you'll keep them for them. Birds, fish. Some of your grandparents are out there right now, and you're like, yeah, I know. I got a cat here just like that, or I got a dog or a bunny or whatever. Fill in the blank. All right, Mama. You got anything you want to add today? No. My belly's full. It was a good lunch. Yes, it was. Y'all have a good one. Say goodbye, Mama. Goodbye, Mama. God bless you all. Have a wonderful, wonderful day today. Have a blessed Sunday, y'all. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.